What's up, YouTube? Out here in the shop working today, uh, putting together a couple projects. Um, not really related to the house. I just was trying to get them rocked out before it uh, warms up. I'm uh, waiting on uh, Jake to get up here so I can get him started on some work. Anyway, just uh, thought I'd show you what I'm up to here. I just changed out the blade and the table saw. I have been using this uh, Forest Woodworker too. Uh, there it is with the uh, I have a stabilizer on it. Um, the reviews of this blade that you'll pretty much read everywhere are absolutely true. It is by far the best um, blade, uh, table saw blade I have ever used. Um, in my little contractor saw, I've got a Freud uh, combination one where I think it has you know the four uh, four close space teeth with a gullet, and then four close space teeth. Um, it's junk compared to this. Um, I'm really uh, excited about this uh, blade. It does an absolutely wonderful job. I can rip stuff, and the quality looks like I just ran it on the planer. There's no saw marks. There's nothing. I mean, it is an absolutely amazing blade. Ripped both sides of this. Uh, this piece of oak here, there's no saw marks. Um, here's just a piece of 2x4 I was playing with. I mean, almost no saw marks there, and only then, if you hold it in the light just right, can you see them. I mean, you could easily just, you know, glue this up and not have to joint it. So, pretty excited about that. That's that's pretty awesome. I uh, have a, uh, oh, a Freud um, MDF blade here. It's a uh, 80 tooth, um, oh, crosscut blade with, you know, the alternating grind where it's just got a point on there. Um... I just got this out of the box. I've been wanting to give it a try and see how it does. Um, I really, uh, for the cabinets I'm getting ready to build, I was planning on using this for cutting the carcasses um, uh, to where you know I had as little chip out as possible. And I've got a zero clearance insert here uh, for the table. And I was kind of planning on having uh, you know using this um, to uh, you know to try and minimize chip out. Um, one thing about it with the saw stop here, whenever you change blades, you have to adjust the um, brake cartridge. I don't know if you can see that down there or not. There's the brake cartridge. This yellow screw here uh, adjusts the distance of the brake cartridge to the blade, and you, uh, you want to um, make sure that the distance stays about 1 16th of an inch. Uh, whenever I bought the saw here, they uh, had a box of uh, brakes and trashed blades where people had to... Uh, switched blades out and you know not paid attention to uh, the clearance there so that's kind of one thing you have to pay attention to on this particular table saw it's a again it's a saw stop uh, five horse uh, industrial cabinet saw um, and uh, yeah there's the I don't know I, you can't really see a whole lot from the blade box there just wanted to get that uh, on video here uh, I'll uh, uh, take some more here as I'm cutting with this, but uh, I've been using this uh, uh, INCRA or INCRA. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Uh, 3,000 uh, miter uh, miter gauge here. Um, I've just been ripping uh, little pieces from the pallet here for uh, cutting board. Uh, just was going to try uh, making a few of those and uh, seeing how they uh, if they'll sell at the farmers market. Um, just kind of kill some time before uh, Jake shows up here and. Uh, well, it's also still cool out here in the shop, uh, and uh, trying to get a little bit familiarized with this stuff before I start running, you know, uh, plywood through it that's, you know, 40 or 50 bucks a sheet. I just as soon, uh, you know, kind of have some scrap wood run through it and kind of get a feel for how everything works and not have to worry about trashing some expensive wood. And also, I have a sled over here underneath this other crap that uh, I need to put together and, oh, you know, put together and, um, get set up but uh, just trying to use some of this or get kind of set up with this stuff quick and dirty like and uh, uh, get some little projects rocked out here that I've been wanting to do for a while and uh, it's pretty much where I'm at uh, showed my earlier video there's the planer over there the and the dust collector um, I really like this overarm dust collector here it actually does pull pretty much all the dust out this little bit over here is just about all that collects uh, so pretty happy with that Anyway, uh, that's pretty much what I'm up to today. Alrighty, one little addendum here to my uh, last video. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've got two blocks here. One, this one is cut with a forest woodworker. You can see how there's tear out. Um, that was just using it on this this miter gauge here. Just uh, 
slowly pushing it and then this uh, block over here that is just absolutely amazing no tear out uh, on the cross cut was cut with this Freud uh, 80 tooth uh, uh, MDF blade I uh, say so it's got the alternating uh, alternating grind there so that uh, well obviously you know one's a combination blade you wouldn't use this for ripping you just uh, you know use it for cross cuts but pretty impressed there there's you know absolutely no tear out uh, whatsoever anyway just uh, another little addendum there